hello once again we want to proceed from where we stopped we looked at types of forces and today we want to start on uh, something else uh, this is teacher Nyangoya from KZ school we this is our lesson two on force so today our lesson will be on mass and weight so we start with the divination mass is defined as the quantity of matter in a body and weight is the gravitational pull on a body it is a force and therefore it says a unit is newton the symbol is capital n the direction of action of weight on earth is always towards the center of the earth how strong are we pulled towards the earth? The relationship between mass and weight. We have been hearing that one kilogram is being pulled by a force of 10 Newton. That is the gravitational field strength. And therefore, the weight is 10 Newtons. And what is the relationship in that case? It is mass times acceleration due to gravity. Mass 1, acceleration due to gravity of the earth is 10. So you have 1 times 10 giving you 10 newtons. 10 newton is the weight of that body. So mass and weight are related as follows. Weight equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity, which is given the symbol W equals to mg. M is mass in kilograms. G is the gravitational field strength, which is 10 newton per kilogram. What is it? Divination of acceleration due to gravity. It is defined as the gravitational force acting on a unit mass at a place. The SI unit of G, that is gravitational field strength, is the newton per kilogram. The force pulling uh the quantity of mass in terms of newton per kilogram if we have a graph of weight versus mass it's a straight line through the origin and the slope always gives us acceleration due to gravity what do we say here we want to say as we have more mass we have got a strong uh, pull towards the earth so if we have a mass of one kilogram the weight is 10 newton 2 kilogram weight is 20 newton 3 kilogram weight is 40 newton so they are directly proportional as the mass increase also weight increase that's why we are saying it is a straight line through the origin what is the difference between mass and weight can be asked to state the difference between mass and weight we start with the divination mass is quantity of matter in uh, in an object and then on the same side the same divination gravitational pull uh, on an object is defined as weight so when you are giving differences let them marry one another the SI unit of mass is kilogram but the SI unit for Newton is for, for weight is Newton mass is constant everywhere mass can never change but weight varies from place to place as mass is a scalar quantity weight is a vector quantity mass is measured using a beam balance weight is measured using a spring balance state a reason as to why weight of a body varies from place to place on the earth the gravitational field strength varies from one place to another on the earth surface being strong at the poles and weak at the equator gravitational field strength varies from one place to another on the earth's surface being strong at the poles and weak at the equator an object weighs a thousand newtons on earth where the gravitational field strength is 10 newton per kilogram calculate its mass we start calculating this way 
We start with the formula. Weight equals to mg. Weight is 1000. We are looking for mass times 10, which is the gravitational field strength. You divide by 10 both sides, you get mass as 100 kilograms. Another example. If the same object weighs 160 on the moon surface, find the gravitational field strength of the moon. You know, it weighs 100. The, the formula is weight equals to mg. It weighs 160 on the moon. Mass does not change. Mass will always remain 100. So, what is g of the moon? So, you divide by 100 both sides, you get g of the moon is 1.60 newton per kilogram. Another example, a mass of 7.5 kilogram has a weight of 30 newton on a certain planet. Calculate the acceleration due to gravity on this planet. Start with the formula, weight equals to mg. What is the weight? 30. The mass, 7.5. We are looking for g of that place. So you divide by 7.5 both sides, you get g for that place is 4.4 Point zero newton per kilogram or 4 newton per kilogram. A man has a mass of 70 kilogram. Calculate his weight on earth where the gravitational field strength is 10. Very simple. Eh? Weight is mass times gravity. So mass is 70. A g is 10. So this man weighs 700 newtons. His weight on moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.7. The gravitational field strength has changed. The mass remains the same, 70. Gravitational field strength 1.7. He will weigh 119 on the moon. We want to move to something else. Scalar and vector quantities. A scalar quantity is one with magnitude only, but no direction. Example, Time, temperature, energy, speed, area, volume, length, mass, distance, does not matter. You measure them from any direction, from any point. Vector quantity are those quantities with both magnitude and direction. Example, weight, 10 newton, directed towards the center of the earth. Force, 50 newtons, pulled towards a certain direction. Velocity. 20 meters per second towards a certain momentum, acceleration, displacement. All those have got magnitude and direction. If the weight of a car is 8,000 Newton, 800 gives magnitude of the weight. N is the SI unit and the direction is towards the center of the earth. Resultant vector. This is the sum of two or more vectors, taking into account the direction of the vectors. Look at this. Find the resultant force of the forces acting on uh, a point object shown below. The two forces are acting towards that side, so the resultant force will be this going to this, the other side, and this one, it is 5 plus 4, giving you a resultant force of uh, 9 newton, and 9 newton towards the right hand side. So the solution is positive 4 plus positive 4, the answer will be 9. As we earlier said, the line represents magnitude and the arrow represents direction. Look at these ones. 7 opposite, 3 opposite, 4 towards the other side. So you decide either your right hand side to be positive or your left hand side to be. But using the normal Cartesian plane, we usually say towards the right hand side is positive. So you have positive 4 plus positive 2 plus negative 7, plus negative 3. Positive, negative 7, negative 3, positive 2, positive. The answer will be 4, negative. 4, negative implies that it will be adding to the negative direction. And the answer will be 4 newton towards the negative direction. So 4 newton. And the direction is already indicated. The figure below shows two glass tubes of different diameter. Explain how H2 is greater than H1. H2 is greater than H1. 
the answer is adhesive force is narrow in the narrow tube is greater than adhesive force in the wider tube the volume of water in both tubes is the same hence column of water in narrow tube h2 is greater first of all adhesive is greater than adhesive here is greater than the adhesive the other side is greater than the adhesive in the wider then the volumes are the same because this is a wider cross sectional area this one has to cover higher right for them to be the same same quantity name two forces that determine the shape of a liquid or a drop of drop on uh, the solid it is cohesive and adhesive give reasons why weight of the body varies from place to place the gravitational field strength varies from place to place a metal beam was observed to float on the surface of pure water however the beam sank when a few drops of soap solution were added to the water explain this observation so what does it do to surface tension soap solution is an impurity when added to water it lowers the surface tension of the water making the needle to sink now with those examples i'm very sure we have benefited you and you have made you understand all that it entails about force with those very few remarks i beg to stop there and any other time you want to have some question you can comment on the wall so that we can be able to uh, respond to you so far you can even sms me and inquire or whatsapp me to inquire on uh, the topics we have covered that marks the end of force our next topic will be pressure goodbye